Hey everybody, Kevin Tushka here from your Kikapu Tribal Health Center, Health Promotion and Disease Prevention Department. And it's been a while, but I'm back with another edition of Hardcore From Home. But this time we're gonna slide into your 2021. Some of the best kept secrets and training methods are often very simple yet yet complex to apply. Much like these sliders here. These are just uh, furniture movers that I found at Walmart, or at least, at least one of them. But they make exercise sliders or you can use a paper plate, you can use styrofoam, whatever it is that can actually glide on the floor to do a workout that we're calling Slide 365. What that stands for is using our slider for three exercises. 60 second breaks, five sets, and you can incorporate that into uh, your week however many times you need to. Y'all, I know that it's been extremely difficult this year to maintain our fitness regimens um, or routines. Uh, maybe you've had some tragedies or crises. Maybe your gym closes doors or maybe their hours don't align with your schedules anymore. Or maybe you have kids at home that like to give all of your electronics baths in the toilet when you're not looking. <laughs> But whatever it is, your reasons are valid and they impact you. But the truth of the matter is that we still have to try our, our hardest to maintain an exercise lifestyle. Um, that doesn't have to look like it used to, but it doesn't need to stop. If I were to put exercise into a bottle, uh, it would say something to the effect of uh, take three to four times a week with a healthy diet, drink lots of water to improve blood pressure, uh, glucose management, increase uh, weight management, increased bone density, muscular strength, oxidative processes. Um, the list goes on and on and on. So if you're not thinking about exercise as a form of medication, then uh, then we kind of need to shift to that to that mentality uh, today. All right, I got my headset microphone. I got my Christmas cat sweater. I got my sliders on the ground. I'm ready to ground and pound. Uh, we're going to start with slide 365. We're going to do muscle area specific exercises just to kind of keep things organized, but feel free to change these up however you'd like to. And uh, if you have questions about these and you want to try them a little bit more at home, but maybe it's hard to follow on this video, uh, feel free to leave a comment or send us a message and we'll be glad to get back to you. Okay, let's go. So many don't know this about me, but I'm a, I'm a quarter gym bro. So that means that uh, uh, if I don't already have a plan, I'm just walking to a gym, I'm probably going to do a chest workout. So our first uh, muscle group here is gonna be our chest that we're gonna target. And we're gonna start out by being in a cat, excuse me, a cow pose. And from here, all I'm gonna do is gonna spread out my arms. I'm gonna allow my body weight to fall forward. Pressing my hands together, I'm gonna meet my sliders together. And it's gonna engage my chest by giving some resistance uh, from the floor. Now, if you wanna make that a little bit harder, go and extend your body all the way up. To make it easier, keep your whole body on the ground. Using your elbows. Chest fly. Okay, so the next exercise is gonna be a variation of the push-up. Um, we're gonna come back down, make contact uh, with our whole body on the ground. I'm gonna flare out and back, and I'm gonna scoop it up, pressing my body, leaving my knees on the floor. Scoop it up and press. This is our slider decline push-up. So the next one, we're not actually gonna use our sliders. We're gonna go straight into the push-up. So our next uh, our next muscle group is gonna be our back. Now this is kind of kind of a uh, difficult to work out at home if you're not really accustomed to thinking about human movement, but we're gonna start out with our elbows on the ground, our whole body making contact with the ground as well. And our elbows are gonna be into our sliders. I'm gonna allow my body to press forward. This is the start position. And from here, I'm gonna press my elbows in, push them all the way back to my hips. Allow my body to fall, press my elbows again. You'll be able to feel your lats engage. Take all the way down. Press it all the way back to your hips. The second one is gonna be a butterfly 
uh, row. So very similar to uh, the swimming motion. I'm gonna start out extended. I'm gonna bring it all the way back around and scoop it all the way back around and scoop it. Easy stuff. Okay, so this next one is gonna be uh, just a one slider. I'm gonna press my elbow on the ground here and I'm gonna keep my hips on the ground but I'm gonna raise them slightly to where I got a little bit of activation here in my obliques. I'm allow my body to slide over with my elbow and I'm bring my elbow back. So my torso and my body stay stable and it's my elbow that creates this type of rowing motion. Okay, so our next muscle group is gonna be our legs and we're gonna actually use the wall to kind of be of a knee guide for us. We're gonna place our toe against the wall. We're gonna use one slider. We're gonna do a backwards lunge by pressing our toe into the slider and allowing that to fall back, allowing my knee to bend before it hits the wall. And then switch. So if your knee is hitting the wall uh, way before you're able to come down, then uh, Let's, let's practice staying against that wall until you have some a better uh, placement on your knees. All right, so this next exercise is actually gonna be a little bit delicate. So we're gonna get back onto the ground in this cow pose again. So from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my knees outwards as they're the thing that's on the sliders. And from here, you're gonna feel a stretch and it's gonna feel a little bit weird, but it's gonna work these adductors and you're gonna press your knees together. So something important to note is my feet are actually maintaining contact with each other. If I go too far out, it's likely I won't have the stability to bring them back. All right, so final leg exercise. I'm gonna be on my back using one slider. And from here, I'm just gonna extend it all the way out. I'm gonna pick up my hips off the ground. And I'm gonna bring my ankles in. This is a slider adduction or a slider leg curl. Next thing we're gonna be standing for this one is gonna be our shoulders. And one of the main um, issues that comes with shoulder training is, is kind of uh, where we place our resistance. And it's never usually in a straight line. And it usually causes some impingement or just some, some damage to the uh, rotator cuff. And we're gonna use the wall to help us correct that. So our very first exercise is gonna be a shoulder press. I'm gonna step away just slightly, bend my elbows, and I'm gonna leave my face about three to four inches away from the wall. And I'm just gonna press upwards, extending my body. Shoulder press. Okay, so the next one is very similar to that. I'm gonna place my hands on the wall. I'm gonna place my whole body against the wall, actually. And I'm just gonna kind of maneuver this how I can up here. And from here, I'm just gonna press my knuckles into the wall. And I'm moving my hands upwards. Come all the way back down, keep that chest nice and high. For the reverse shoulder press. Okay, so next exercise is gonna be, you actually don't, you actually don't need your sliders for this, but I, I like to feel like I'm flying away. We're gonna use the lateral raise. Just taking up to our ear height, keeping our elbows in line with our ears as well. If you find yourself coming out here, uh, you're not hitting that target area. And this is kind of the, the muscle that gives us that nice brown cap. Okay, so bonus exercise. Um, if you're anybody who's ever wanted bigger arms, your triceps actually make up three quarters of your arm size. So while biceps are really cool, the triceps are actually gonna contribute a little bit more if size is your goal. But if uh, elbow function is your goal, um, or tricep strength and a swing, whatever it is, uh, this is gonna be really helpful. So we're gonna start out in this relaxed cow po uh, this relaxed cobra pose. You wanna go back to yoga. My hands are actually gonna make contact with my sliders. My elbows are gonna be down. I am actually gonna press my hands into the ground, pulling my slider back. If you'll notice, I get a dynamic bend on my elbow 
and I press upwards, extending my elbow, coming back down, allowing my hands to go forward, my elbows or my forearms are, are flush with the ground again, and I repeat. So this way we get the full function of the tricep and, and actually we, uh, we get the additional uh, isolation. I know that home workouts are, are less challenging for some of you guys or maybe too challenging for some of you guys, but this is another way that, that we can spice that up, we can keep it challenging, we can keep it efficient, we can still apply different resistance throughout the range of motion, so it is a, a smart way to go. And, um, and it's a, it's a way that we can uh, uh, decelerate kind of the effort or accelerate our effort and, uh, and provide different properties for human movement. So if you have questions, um, if you want to apply slide 365 to your life, I'd be proud if you did. So make sure to tell me if you, uh, if you do and, and uh, how you like it. But until then, stay safe, stay warm, and uh, stay challenged. I'll see you guys later.